this very spot. It was once a Viking eel fishing village named Vikio. This was the eel fishing capital of the North Sea. A bastion of civilization against what seemed like at the time an endless harsh landscape. It was a hotspot of wealth and prosperity. But then, everything changed. To find out more, I came to the Institute of Geology to meet up with Dr. Noah Toll, a leading expert in his chosen field. Hello there, Dr. Toll. Well, yes. Greetings. So, uh, Dr. Toll, what can you tell me about the ecological disaster that wiped out Vicure? Well, yes, a grinding motion between the two tectonic plates caused a huge amount of tension to build up. Once the tension reached its maximum level, it was released in a large-scale vibration. This ruptured the mantle and the Earth's crust, also known as an earthquake in layman's terms. Thank you for the information, Dr. Dahl. Knowing the technicalities of what happened here under the land is enough, but I really want to learn more about how the people reacted to this disaster. Good afternoon, again, Dr. Tall. Oh yes, hello. So, uh, Dr. Tall, what do you know about the disaster's impact on the community? Well, yes, the earthquake caused many of the buildings to fall down, causing a high fatality rate. A larger fissure, as you may like to say, appeared at the bottom of the lake, draining the water into the earth, causing the village to be abandoned. So, all this was drained underground? Well, yes, that's exactly right. And was there any way the inhabitants could have mitigated the impact of the earthquake? Good. Well, yes. No, there wasn't. These people did not have such technology to do such things. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Dahl. Well, yes. It's my pleasure. The story of Big Yo is truly a harrowing one. A story survival against yours. A story of what was great, crumbling to the abyss of time. Thank you for watching this episode of Time Explorers.